This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Long live and prosper, viewers. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Von Arvac here with another episode of Chroma Squad. In the last episode, we dealt with the roly-poly barrel rider, that is, the pirate, who was just a guy who just didn't want to wear the costume. You know, if you get the job, you do what you're told. I'm sorry. But anyway, we're on to the next thing. We're going to do a, another episode before the finale, uh, season one finale. But before that, we got some fan mail to read. So fan mail basically has a couple of different results depending on what the letter is and it is there is a bit of randomization to the letters you get there's a few story based letters that you get uh, but a lot of them can be randomized and you can get you can't get most of them in the first run you have to like do new game plus to get all the letters uh, but let's read the first one having fun kids <laughs> having fun kids you know, like binky the clown from garfield of friends or something like that uh, from Fernand G. What for forgetful uncle you have, Scar? We haven't talked since the studio's opening. How are things at my warehouse? I hope you have all the space you need. I'll tell Joe to fix that leak in the bathroom next Friday. Oh, and make sure to feed that cute little cat that lives around the place. She has been there since I brought in the Cerebro device last summer. Or probably snuck in the box or something like that. Yeah, you sometimes see a cat randomly running across the sta uh, stage and stuff like that. Cats are always nice to have around there. Around. I hope the little fella inspires you to create new things. So that one's just a story-based one. Let's look at marketing. Greetings, representative of Mighty Inc. My name is Ronaldo Sampio. I'm the manager of Mad Folks Marketing Agency, LLC. We loved your first episode and we're willing to work for you. Make your show reach more and more people around the world. This is how our agency works. You pay us a fixed weekly cost and we work converting the agency audience of your episode into fans and income. We guarantee you 15% increase in your audience on every episode. We have a deal. It's free for the first week. Um, you, could say, uh, you could say no and basically... Uh, it allows you to eventually, when we do marketing, which is a new thing that pops up here pretty soon, you can uh, choose your own, or um, you could get some free marketing. So, sure, why not? Yes, please. Or, you know, go with Brother Awesome's options. But anyway, get an immediate reply, too. Glad to do business with you. I'm sure you'll love our services and we'll join your new audience levels. Keep on recording. All right, let's try an old friend. If you just choose no note services, uh, they, they just say uh, something to the effect of, like, all right, well, you can always hire us later, that type of thing, you know. Uh, and you can hire them later if you want. Anyway, um, how are you doing, my old friends? We all know that I'm the only reason your new show is any good. Oh, that's Dr. Soap. I know that our last moments weren't so great, and we were in a bad situation because the ideas you've stolen from me. Let's get straight to the deal. You have a few options here. I see you in court, or two, you pay me tributes for my ideas, or three, I'll be your new director. Hope you understand the situation. Everyone will be all right. So this letter actually will affect a uh, mission down the line. Uh, so one thing will happen. So one, one of these is for an achievement, which is, will you be our director? So basically throws the whole thing out the window where he just comes back and joins you, which there's an achievement for that. Uh, if we choose, we'll see you in court. We, uh, we basically, we literally and figuratively deal with his lawyers and then choose tributes gets an old thing but let's go ahead and get the trophy just to show you the result of that so yeah be our director reply received really are you giving up the game this early in the first or first major decision you are the director of your studio and there's no way around it you still be the one in front of your gaming device let's try again with a few less options and that's uh the the uh achievement is for um Oh, I forgot the name of the what the achievement's called. Uh, basically, it's like Deus Ex or something like that, where it's just like, or break it, it was breaking the fourth wall. It's like, uh, you know, we weren't really gonna do that or something like that. So, um, but uh, yeah, we can either deal with the devil or deal with him via tribute. So let's do the tributes one. So, all right then, friends will always be friends. Don't worry about. It. We'll talk soon. We don't want to be aggressive. I mean, you can be, but. But yeah, if you uh, uh, d uh, choose to just fight it, you'll deal with his lawyer later on. So um, anyway, let's look at marketing here. Yeah, the marketing's uh, for right now. I can, I mean, I could change it, but for right now, we have Mad Folks, which what their thing is is to get grant audience. Which obviously, depending on your audience, some of that will be converted into money or fans. Uh, agencies over the course of the game will have the ability to unlock new. Um, Agencies and they'll have different purposes and it's another part of the strategy where each one will have a benefit over the other I've noticed playing this that there are certain agencies that are just clearly better than others um, Overall, but we'll go to that when we go to that So if you didn't choose mad folks, we could have chosen a few different agencies and right now we only get one episode use of it. So 
<laughs> it's free, but we still pay for it. So it's like, uh, not really free, bro. But anyway, so right now we have fan power down there. What that means is certain agencies have certain abilities you can unlock depending on your fans. This is why you want to build up fan conversion as, fa as far as you can. Um, but uh, right now we don't have a lot of fans. We'll get to that eventually. But So right now with our fan power tw 290, we can choose some abilities to unlock here. Um, each agency will always have three like basic um, um, options always every time you choose it will always be the same three on that agency but the fourth one will be random sometimes it can be pretty good sometimes it eh, depends on what happens so in this case uh, if we get commercial break with 125 power we can get a plus 10 income conversion which means more more in, more silly more income added per audience of a hundred so it'd go from um, 41 to 51 if we choose this uh, or we could get uh, a starting audience of 100, which means that's better if you're not sure, if you don't have a lot of the audience bump abilities, this will helps you guarantee your max audience for an episode, which ends up with more money and more fan conversion, that type of thing. Um, uh, this one, audience, you gain 10% 10, 10 audience per episode, so it's 10% uh, of the total uh, audience that you can acquire is added to the um, total minimum on that so you know like i said more audience more more growth and then this just gives you plus 18 fans per episode overall which is this number here so you guarantee fans so actually having just straight up fans depending on what it is is actually better than the conversion because right now it's uh five fans per per audience right now so right now with like a lot of our audience has been like 1500 so getting 18 fans just straight up is actually better right now so uh yeah let's get income actually do I have an, yeah let's do income conversion and just straight up 18 fans oh yeah so we have enough fan power for that let's buy the magazine article as well so and let's see i have new crafting material but i'm not gonna craft anything i'm saving that for something else uh do I, I don't have enough money for uh the studio so we'll uh, hold off on that so all right i guess we can let's get started so yeah, that was a little bit of a long beginning, but they added some new stuff there, so... Anyway, bad alien terrorizes the city, and Cerebro sends Chroma Squad to deal with threat, but someone has a dentist appointment. And anyway, with Max Audience 1500, location and cliche warehouse, director's instructions, this is one of the first one of multiple parts in an episode. So part one, we need to perform a team attack with three squad members and defeat all weak bread crumblers in four turns. And then part two, uh, and when you go into different parts, you actually get all your HP and everything healed up. So you don't have to worry about like fighting it back to back and being in danger. So that's the nice thing about this. But anyway, the second part, we have to defeat all minions before defeating the bond sponsor, which I usually do anyway, and hit the boss on every turn. That'll be a challenge, but we'll see if we can do it. So not impossible just you just have to pay attention though I've, I've accidentally lost that one a few times because i wasn't paying attention to thinking i'd hit the guy and i hadn't so i love it when we use the teleport effect for no reason at all it's just too much fun is it wind huh. i almost forgot scar you have a dentist appointment today right yeah in a few moments are 5d 401 then i'll have to leave i'm sorry no problem. We'll make this as quick as possible. Get ready. Basically, she, she, she's available for the first half of this fight, and then the second half she leaves. Uh, it's time for minions to get on stage. Grr. Yar. Oh wait. No. Grr. Suddenly, a very human-like alien-esque figure joins the scene. No, you're not supposed to join us right now. We haven't found our hiding place yet. Or your hiding place yet. I am sorry, folks. I pay more attention next time. A few more minions to the scene should make up for it. Prepare yourselves! Yeah, quite a few of them. We need to get rid of these monsters. They're all around us. Don't worry, Fleshy. This should be easy. Go, Chroma Squad, go. All right. Let's see. Okay, so we got weak bread. See, how many weak bread crumbers do we got? Let's see. One. Let's see, within four turns. I should be able to do that. I just have to be careful about how much damage I take from from the um, um, nutcrackers there. Let's see, what's my options? 
trying to wonder if I should throw people around a bit. Yeah, okay, we want to assist here. Yeah, I'm just trying to think how far to move. You have to be careful. And if I get too close, these guys will back up away. So, yeah, let's go here. And I'm probably not going to be able to do enough damage to the guy with only two party members. So I'll probably have to do three here. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, everyone around here to take out that broken front boy. Oh, we can already prototize. I'll do that after, during the next turn, so. Yeah, let's have him move there. Should be able to kill him just because the assaulter is helping. Yep. <coughs> Ow. He just ran over and punched me in the face. Ah! Ow! <laughs> I don't know, just something, I just, the, the image of that where he just runs up and just smacks you and you're not paying attention to it or something like that. I'm really getting a good, good, chance on the counter though. But like I said, I'm not worried too much just because I'm gonna chromatize. So even if I get smacked there, so um let's see. I'm just trying to think of if I wanted to straight up chromatize right now. If I do, if I do it like right here with him, it'll move everyone out of the way. Yeah let's do that. Yeah see it moved me cl closer to the bread crumb boys. So I could do that. I'm trying to think of the best position for that. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to just kind of. Let's see, three squares. So move over there. I would get you two. But I won't get any of you two. I move. I'm just trying to think if I want to get this guy or these guys. I think I'll move him up and, and hit, uh, hit this group. Alright, not bad. Oh yeah, I probably should get stun have you stun some guys. Could stun you so you won't move. That'd be kind of a waste of the ability. See, I don't think you have enough attack damage to finish him off by yourself, unfortunately. Okay, I think I have an idea. All right, let's uh, have you move here and stun him. And then if I do this right, oh, oh eh, maybe. Hmm. No, that doesn't. I was hoping maybe I could get this to work. Hmm. Actually, I could. Well, I was hoping to get him to like. Assist and keep. Uh, what my idea was to get him to hit with a uh, eagle lasso, but the problem is if I lasso him, like, I might pull him here. I always have a tough time just uh, like figuring out like how the. Well, I could always attack the, one of those guys there, or just attack him with a sword. Let's see if we can get him to move where I want him to. Okay, he moved to actually where I wanted him to. Nice. All right, let's uh, teamwork. And then. Smack him, see if that does enough damage. Oh, come on, man. All right. Just have you finish him off. Ow. It's always so close. I just don't... If I bought everyone weapons, I probably would have been able to do enough melee damage to finish him off, so... Yeah, too bad counter doesn't work when the enemies punch you back, because there's always a small chance of the um, of uh, the enemies just like knocking you away. And unfortunately, um, oh, can I? I can hit you with a gun from there. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, but yeah, knocking you back just is really annoying because even if you even have a high encounter character, if they always just dodge your attack or if they always knock you back, then it's just like, well, what's the point? Okay, you took quite a bit of damage. See, we want we want basically kind of want um, R5D to to take the brunt of this damage. So I need to move everyone back a bit. 
see. Yeah, that's right. Move you up there. Probably finish you off. I was thinking about. Yeah, let's see. I was thinking about want to heal him or wait and see how much damage our our D5 takes. Yeah, let's, let's wait and see. you. Yeah, our D5 should be able to take all those hits, and I'll just heal it. Because he's the leader. Leader's supposed to get the highest HP. Jeez, they keep not they keep knocking him back. I don't know what the unfortunately, I don't know what the percentage of like, having your allies be knocked back is. It's usually not that high of a percentage. Usually the ways to prevent it is to move allies like around one, if you know that they're guaranteed going to get hit, you can move people like beside him or behind him to prevent them from getting juggled all around. So, all right, let's see. Just looking at my probably you could probably take a few more hits. Okay, let's uh, because I don't think these guys can finish him off without a teamwork attack. this fight. Sorry if I'm quiet sometimes, because with strategy games, I really do have to like pay attention for a second just to make sure I'm not uh, making a wrong decision. Though the early game in this isn't that difficult. Like Usually you can do this and make a few mistakes, even on challenging mode. It'd be fine. Ooh. My uh, cooldown went back up. You usually want to try and use your gadgets with, uh, with your techie, because they that increases their cooldown so they can use their abilities faster. So the techie is the one that you want to get high skill regen with because if you do it right, you can get like an act, uh, basically a special ability almost every turn or every other turn if you do it right. So but anyway. Uh, yeah, I can't get any Oh, did enough damage. Nice. Well, if you want the Assaulter to guarantee damage, that's pretty much the way, way you go. But anyway, did all that. Nice. We should continue the story in another episode. For now, I'm off to the dentist. Take care, everyone. Now you should always go to the dentist, viewers. Make sure to brush your teeth twice a day and floss. To be continued. Wait a second. We may use Scar's absence to build a new story piece. Yeah, like Scar was kidnapped by Fat Alien. By Fat Albert. <laughs> this will be gold. Well, <laughs> actually, proceeding with the story, we should get to a different position. The audience will think we're at a different part of the episode. Good idea, Flashy. Everyone move, and let's get to the new positions. Fat alien kidnapped Scar, then Chroma Squad reached its warehouse so they could get their friend back. And it suddenly appears. There you are, fat alien. You shall never see Scar again. Uh oh, got some shell shockers there. Scar is in good hands. Oh <laughs> yeah. Then someone else joins the set using the teleport effect. Who are you, random guy? Who? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who are you? My name is Thomas Dale. Dahl. I'm Gal Galax Silver, the sixth ranger of the Galax Rangers. We are responsible for maintaining galaxy-wide peace. And this intergalactic monster is a threat to us all. I thought you were just barging into our studio. But I'll definitely take that. Your line was just too great. Welcome to our show, Thomas. All right, everyone keep rolling. Yeah, you can tell he's just some random dude from like the audience or something like that. Get like Silver, it's nice to see you. Dr. Ellie, Alien, kidnapped Scar. Say your last words, obese creature. You fatty, fat, fat, fat. Uh, anyway. 
limitless potential Galax Silver. That's not a bad outfit. My Galax Saber is ready to strike you down. To beat all minions before defeating the boss and hit boss every turn. All right, so what does Galax Silver have? Or Thomas Dahl? He's got 440 HP, so he's actually got more HP than the rest of the party. Uh, his attacks is 90 to 112, 10% critical, 40% counter, 1% dodge. So you want to have him take the brunt of attacks next to the leader, so because he can take the hit and you can heal him with your healer character if it gets close to that. So, all right, what do we got? Weak shell shield. Oh yeah, I guess I can show off. Um, oh yeah, I gotta remember to hit the alien every turn. Um, Okay, what I could do, let's see, you can move there. Yeah, let's have you assist our teamwork so we can throw you over there so so we can hit him. Yeah. I think that's what I want to do. And I'll put him in line for, actually, I could move him. No, no, we'll stick with that. I was thinking about moving him here, but I think this spot's fine. He'll be targeted by the... Uh, All right. Let's see, I need to feed all the minions. So what I could do, let's see, this would hit. If I stun, if I move here, I'll be able to stun these two, and we'll put him into um, daze mode, which means he just has a chance of missing and stuff like that. So what do you got? Stun resistance. So yeah, you don't get stunned. You just get become dazed. So uh, or I could do here, and that would stun the shell shield, because he's the one of the more annoying characters to uh, hit. I don't always, yeah, the shell shield is more annoying to fight, so let's stun him. I guess I never showed off what happens if you stun someone, so it says stun, duration one turn, can't perform any action, so, which is obvious. All right, fat alien, oops. All right, sometimes you have to like get quick over there, so daze. So reduces his critical dodge and counter chances to zero, 30% uh, extra chance to dodge attacks from this monster, so. And then, yeah, stun resistance. Oh, yeah, and he has 39 attack, 40, uh, 39 to 45 attack. Um, he can uh, see, I forgot his attacks off the top of my head. One, he just shoots his laser, and um, I think he can also teleport, too, if I remember correctly. So, okay. So, I think I probably want you to, uh, despite you being, well, actually, let me get, let's see, can I move both of you up there to finish that game? Yeah. Actually, what I'll have to do is... I'm just trying to think about... The thing with the sword is it does a lot of damage, but the thing is there's a chance I might accidentally knock him away from me with the sword strike. Because I hate, I hate ranged characters, most of all. Well, let's, let's see what happens. Maybe we'll get lucky and he won't be knocked back. He probably will, though. Yep. Sometimes it won't it won't knock back, so I'm just gonna have you help with uh, fighting this guy. So let's uh, teamwork. And uh, punch this guy, so. Yeah, unfortunately they're gonna run away. Yeah, my idea to have uh, one guy get targeted, but. All right, alien gun, alien gun! Actually, I might just have... Oh, no, he doesn't. I was about to say, I might just have him try to go after the alien every turn. I could still do that. I just have to uh, teamwork for my assaulter. So. Yeah, just gotta... yeah, it's usually better to have one character just do all that. You know, I always have them be the one that, that uh, hits the character. I probably shouldn't have the leader run off by himself just because he has the most HP, but. Nice, okay, you're out. Yeah, I, I, I hate messing with Shell Shocker, so. Ooh, nice, we got a crit too, counter and crit. Usually scout it, well. Yeah. Alien gun again, ow, I'm gonna have to heal with him. So you took, oh no, you didn't take enough damage, so. It's uh. Yeah, let's go ahead and heal you. Yeah, heal Dogen! Heal Dogen! Let's have you eat him. Yeah, have you finished him off. 
finish you off. And then smack you. Oh, we'll hit you with a sword. Nice, yes. Galax Saber! Does a decent amount of damage, too, so. Alright, who are you hitting now? There, okay, just that. Let's see. Might as well just have you use the. Uh, well. I want to save the lasso just in case he runs all over the place, though. I guess I'll have you finish that guy up and we'll have the rest of the crew work on you. Oh, I have to double move with you. Yeah, make sure to hit him, because I almost forgot to do that, so. I want to get all my party members generally surrounding him so he doesn't like you know get a, get like move too far away, so. Luckily, he's spacing out his damage. If you if you play this heroic mode, he'll uh, um, if you play heroic mode, he'll uh, um, he'll target your weakest party members. How that works. But on this mode, he's uh, more willing to uh, um, swap out his his target. Yeah, it's going stun. I'm gonna have to wait till next turn to do that then. Spacing out. Have I not done enough damage to you yet? So get you over there. You can't. Yeah, you can't assist too much though. So unfortunately. Yeah, I'm trying to surround him so he won't like run all over the place. Now, of course, I smack him away from me. Great. Finish him off yet? Hmm. Oh, that's right. I can't. Uh, uh, never mind. I, I just have to finish him off. I don't know why I thought I could uh, do a finisher on him. It's because we don't have Scar with us. I can't do that. I don't know why I was thinking I had to do a finisher on him. So sorry about that, folks. My brain just shut off for a second. So, uh, you bested me. Yeah, that fight could have gone a little bit faster if I had remembered that. That you don't have to use a finishing strike on him. That threat was easy to handle, Chroma Squad. Uh, thanks for your help, Galax Silver. No need to thank me. You should thank the energized crystals we all channel Galaxia Force from. Galaxia, I mean. But I must leave now. My ship, the, S the Star Road Surfer, awaits me. I am sorry. My planet needs me now. Whoop! Galax Silver died on the way there. I bid you good luck on your path, Chroma Squad. And we'll never see him again. Seriously, we never see him again. Uh, we need more friends like this one. Nay was more powerful than our current party, so... Yeah, I can't wait for Scar to watch this episode. Alright, and we got the audience members, and we got a bonus for from our agency and everything like that, and a bunch of extra stuff there, so very nice. How much money do we make this time? Yeah, a little bit more. And we got a bit more fan conversion this time with the help of the agency. Chrome Squad is super adorable. My girlfriend is skeptical about watching the show. Yeah, that's some of it. You're eventually going to get repeats about all these, so that's just how it is. Awesome. What more? Music's so excellent. Actually, the music in this game actually is really good. I quite enjoy it. Uh, uh, props to the guy who who did the music for this game. So, All right. It looks like, uh, yeah, now that, mar now that the episode's over, our marketing is up. And uh, now we got to prepare for the, the greatest adventure of all, the season finale. Who's written to us? What marketing strategy will go to next? And how does a guy with a traffic cone, uh, traffic sign, uh, cause such a threat? 
Find out next time in the season uh, finale of season one of Chroma Squad. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.